Right, so anything particular you want to be covering today? Yeah. Right. Uh, Basically about um, using the legs, mm -hmm. the usage of the legs is but the way I've come to the, the understanding of the legs lately is that if I'm using in one direction I want like a tension coming down the front of the leg and yeah. I want a tension down the opposite leg going downwards down the back. Mm. What the reason what I'm trying to do is trying to keep myself centered all the time so that if I've got tension in both the backs of my legs and I'm pushing like that, I'm very easy if you take your pressure away or you pull us down. Uh, I'll, I'll be pulled over the centre very easy. Yeah. Now by keeping this kind of thing where I'm using the tension in one leg mm. and basically a tension in the back and a tension in the front uh, is actually keeping it centralised. It's actually pulling the, my, my frame into, into centre. I know you're saying I can understand what you're talking about is because you're because you're, you're, you're looking at this creating like the different energies and having to yeah. basically setting yourself up to be able to be, be more flexible in one yeah. way or the other. Yeah. Um, uh, it might just be I mean, it's it's not a path that I wouldn't say don't go down. Yeah, yeah. I would say try to understand it. I would I wouldn't. Again, I would say what you're really trying to be after yeah. is being able to be aware yeah. of yeah. not so much that you're just doing one or the other. Yeah. You should be shifting and changing. I don't, that, 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 that's what I mean. Yeah. They do shift. So if you feel if you feel what I'm doing, like, now definitely the tension is going down the front of the leg mm. and down the back of the leg. Now, now if there's mm. something that changes, now feel how the difference is gone. The tension is down the back yeah, of this leg. What I'm saying is dependent on that, the circumstances. Yeah, but, well, that's it. It's, 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 this is why I'm saying that what you're doing is talking about is, is okay, because what you're developing is developing the awareness of it. Yeah, yeah. And this, and it's a, and this awareness is what we're actually being talking about for a while. It's yeah. this awareness, all, all yeah. these different yeah. things. Whether we're using this energy going yeah. forward, so you're coming yeah. off the back of the leg, yeah. Yeah. coming down the foot, yeah. from the front, going back yeah. and coming down. Yeah. So they ship. Between the sort of like the energy coming yeah. off that way and coming back that way, yeah, yeah. so that that's that, that's an awareness that sort of uh, yeah. it's that it's been it, the more aware you are of it, then the quicker you can actually shift. I've, I've noticed if I, if you go into like a traditional kind of karate style stance or the jiu jitsu stances or something like that, and basically the, the, a lot of them are like this. Mm. Now, to me, basically what it's telling you is that the tension's both running down the both the backs of the legs. Mm -hmm. Which means that there's no stability, the stable, if someone's coming in with full force yeah, like yeah. that. I mean, they're, they're it's stable it's against that, but they're not stable against... Now, that, I mean, this is, this, is where, I mean that, this is where I would actually sort of be in defence of traditional styles. Yeah. But, but not <laughs> in the way that they're teaching. Yeah. Basically, what you're talking about is that, that that's why we, in Wing Chun, mm. We'll have this as the so this is the stance that I talk about in yeah. the last third of the, yeah. the second form. Yeah. But the stance is it, not this one; it's just this one. Yeah. Yeah. This it's the rear leg that's the actual stance because yeah. if you come a bit closer from that, so because like, yeah. what I'm need so it just to balance this up. So yeah. put a leg behind. Put a leg behind. So you're not, I just want yeah. to put yeah. so I can lift this leg up. Yeah. So really, this is the stance. Yeah. Yeah. This is the stance that you'd be using. So that's free this, kick. Well, no, because it's it's it, it could be kicking with it. Yeah. It's 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 isolating. This is a stance. Yeah. Now, so I've got this stance here. Yeah. It doesn't change as if I'm going into the strike here. I mean, if I'm striking here mm. or kicking there, it's really it's this this stance. So it's this understanding of this leg. Yeah. So it's isolating this this leg. Yeah. So if you think of your stances as teaching a part of the body, yeah. and the part of that body is this rear leg. Yeah. This rear leg is used to kick and strike with. Yeah. Yeah. In Wing Chun, what we use, and we're talking about this stance, as mm. a preparation stance. Mm. To me, it's more purely uh, a leg training exercise yeah. Yeah. in this position. Yeah. The next stance that we've got is it for a using stance is yeah. this yeah. stance. Yeah. Yeah. Now this stance is your falling stance. Yeah. <coughs> Just going back a sec, yeah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Talk about lifting the, the coccyx basically. Yeah. Uh -huh. Using the hips. Yeah. So when we're doing that, is it only like one hip that is active and the other one's 
passive. Yeah. Passive. So basically, then you've got the ability to be able to, to use your leg or yeah. whatever. You. But that's why. So I mean, that that's the beauty of this being. I mean, that being being the square on. Yeah. I mean, it's uh, here. People say that you know, if you're square on, you're susceptible. No, no you're not. No, you've got, no, no. Because at the moment. At the moment of it, again, it's, I don't know which stance I'm going to be using yet. You don't know how many this and that way. You don't know about that way. You don't know if I'm coming in. Well, exactly. Mm. As long as I'm actually sort of in a, in a relatively neutral position. Well, you're neutral from, from, from basically all the way around you. So I've got this idea <laughs> of this stance yeah, yeah. or this stance yeah. from here. Yeah. And this is where I'd be sort of like looking to actually be coming from. Yeah. Is this, this position. Yeah. So when we're looking at like, what the stance is, this stance is this falling stance. Now, it's now a position where it's just the time. What I'm talking about when we're looking at this part of the form and the second form, yeah. what's important about it is the fact that it's in a neutral position. Yeah. I have to go forward, and when I'm going forward, we've talked about it before, yeah. this hand's coming up. Yeah, so it's a covering hand, yeah. yeah. So this is a covering hand, but it, because... I'm, I want to move into a position where I'm shifting this leg. While yeah. this leg is moving into a drive position, yeah. 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 yeah, I'm vulnerable. Yeah. Yeah. I'm vulnerable at this point, whether I'm going to there yeah. or if I'm coming yeah. to yeah. here. Yeah. I'm vulnerable into that point. Yeah. Hello? Hello. Hello. 